Let's get it. Sam in the building. All right, man. So we linked up at uh, at the pilot uh, up in South Carolina, and you was telling me uh, about what happened to you at Walmart. You was like, bro, don't uh, don't park at Walmart's. I was like, yo, what, what, what's going on? You said, uh, you said uh, I was hit with uh, how much? $2,650. Twenty six hundred and fifty dollars. Yes, sir. Well, let me ask you this. Are are you a company driver or are you a owner operator? I'm an owner operator. Oh my God. So this a, so this yeah. this twenty six hundred K is out of your pocket. Yeah, it's out of my pocket. All right, bro. Pocket, tell, tell, tell us what tell, so, tell us what went down, man. Right, so basically, I try to save as much money as I can out here, especially now with the industry the way it's going right now. Food is expensive. Parking is expensive. Everywhere is going to pay parking now. So I said, uh, let me try to catch Walmart because you know different Walmart stores at different hours. So I get in the parking lot. They're closed. So I said, let me just stay here till the morning to get some stuff. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning, so they opened up at 6. So I'm like, let me just stay here a couple of hours. Let me close my eyes for a little couple of hours. I didn't see no signs or nothing because I've been parking at Walmart for 15 years and never had a problem. So I'm, I, I go back there and I rest for an hour. I hear my truck moving around. I didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, not my truck moving around, but I heard noise at first. So then I felt the truck just jack up. I'm like, oh, I get up and I see that I'm on a lift on the truck. And he was like, oh, oh, he was like, you're not supposed to be parked. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, you could have knocked on my truck. You don't just lift the truck like that. You didn't tell me nothing. I said, I've been coming to Walmart for 15 years, longer than that. I mean, just as, as a driver. So he tells me, well, if you want me to drop it, it's going to be uh, $2,650. And I said, what? I'm thinking he's saying 200 and you know, $60 or something. I'm just getting up. And it's like, no, nah, it's going to be 2650 And he said, if we tow it down the street, it's going to be $6,000. And we open up at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I was baffled. I didn't believe it. You know, I called the police. The police said we cannot tell them what to charge. So they charge, they make their own prices. And uh, it was three of them. They got kind of aggressive with me at first. And uh, they told me, you're lucky we're not charging you $10,000. Yep. So, wow. Don't park at Walmart. Wow, bro. Which which Walmart was this? Every day for the last ten years, Loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee. Today she gives me a large black coffee, only it's got sugar in it. A lot of sugar. I just came back to complain. How you boys put those guns down? It's a Walmart right in uh, North Carolina, off. Um, I believe Wilkinson Boulevard. Yeah, thirty-two forty Wilkinson Boulevard. Do not park at Walmart anymore. I would encourage anybody that parks there or stop to go in and shop. Don't stay there more than thirty, forty-five minutes to get what you want in there. I mean, a lot of times it takes us longer as drivers to get in there and get everything we need. You know. But I wouldn't even, I'm not going to Walmart anymore because they have the right to just come out there and just tow your vehicle. I, I know that some Walmarts are on, like, they say it's city-owned property. Uh, was that a Walmart property? Walmart uh, is paying them to pretty much police the parking lot for, for semi-trucks. Yeah, they, they call they, they, Calling basically what's going on now is Walmart used to let drivers park there. I don't know when this changed, but uh, but apparently Walmart does not want a truck. Walmart is a trucking company, also. They do not want truck drivers on their property. They don't want you parking on their property. They don't want you out there. They will tell you. They will put a boot on you if you go in there and go shopping. You catch them at the right time. They will put a boot on you. Uh, I've heard that they have these little. Uh, things they put over your windshield now 
you know, it's like a, so you can't see it. It, it, it uh, blinds your vision from moving. You have to call a tow truck company to do that. So Walmart does it. They don't want truck drivers there anymore. You you said that you felt the truck go up and everything. Uh, they didn't even knock on the door, as you said. They did. They did not knock on my door, and uh, but picking up, he just hooked up and started moving. He cracked the bottom of my oil pan, and it started leaking. I just replaced my oil pan. I replaced uh, lines under there. Cause that was Detroit sixty series. The uh, line that runs from the water pump up under, I think, to the compress uh, to the air compressor. Uh, I replaced everything, the seal, everything. So all of that was new. He cracked my um, oil oil pan, and he said he didn't do it. And he said, there "Ain't nothing he can do. I'm not supposed to park here." Like basically, I, I got screwed over. He said, "You're lucky we're not charging you six thousand dollars to drop it right now." Wow. And to add insult to injury. When he was leaving and whatnot, I paid the money. He told me that uh, you need to sell your truck and you need to be a, a tow truck driver. This is where the money is now. Yeah, he was being an asshole. Tow truck scams on some of these unexpected, uh, you know, car drivers. They'll swoop up, they'll hook it up, hook up to the uh, hook up to the car, lift it up, and then once they once it's hooked. In order to get unhooked, they'd be like, well, it's $200 here to unhook it yep. or $800, you know, when you come pick it up from the yard. I'm all too familiar with that scam, man. And it is crazy that this dude didn't even bother to get out and, and knock on your door and just say, hey, sir, uh, you're not supposed to be parking here give you the opportunity to move. Yeah. So when you called the police and they got there, what was the conversation between you and the cop? The cop, the cop they didn't even make it out there. The, the, they, they were on the phone. They, dispatcher was on the phone with you. He said to me, sir, I said, is this legal? They, they told me that they, we don't control prices that tow trucks make up. They make, they could, they tow, towing companies make up. They could charge you whatever they want to. So, you know, I looked up law in the state, and it says that they can charge you whatever they want to. If they want to charge you $15,000, they can charge you that. That's right. And then she puts forty grand or so in there to rub that shit in my face. You know what I'm saying? She wants me to know she ripped me off. I mean, I kind of hate to say this, but, yeah, that's the business to be in. <laughs> I mean, it ain't. It ain't, it ain't I, I, I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm not laughing at your at your situation because you, you also said that you have uh, a family issue uh, that we'll speak on in a minute. Did you call Walmart to see if Walmart is able to recoup some of your money back? I spoke to Walmart. Yeah, I spoke, I spoke to Walmart. Uh, the representative from I asked, I asked to speak to his superior, and they told me that um, they have nothing to do with that. That's a third party. Uh, basically, you're not supposed to be there. Truck drivers ain't supposed to be. They don't want truck drivers there no more. They're trying to get rid of all of that. They don't want truck drivers there. They can't help me at all. You know, an hour there to go grocery shopping or whatever, get get off their property. And a lot of people have been telling me that it, if, you, if you go there and go grocery shopping and they drive around and they put that boot on you, you're going to have to pay that $1,500 for them to take it off. Now, if they lift it up in the air, that's another $2,000, $1,000. And if they take off with it, they can charge you whatever they want to. So that's 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 the situation. I, I tried to plead with them and tell them what I had going on. They don't care. They don't care at all. And again, you so when you rolled up in there, you 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 didn't see no signs that indicated that you know there wasn't no semi parking there, no, right? No, no sign. It was so it was so bushy. Like you know, it's dark for one. It's bushy. I have nothing in my refrigerator. I have a nice refrigerator in here, a decent size. I said, let me just stay here, and I'm gonna fill it up because you know I don't. The truck starts so expensive, and no, no signs, nothing. As soon as he told me, he makes, he gets me out of the truck, and he walks me, and 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 right behind the bush, I see the sign. It says no parking. I'm like, I mean, who looks for stuff like that? And it's dark. It's no, it's real dark out there, and, and, and you know that's how they played me. 
and you only wanted and you and you only wanted to go there to just to just to shop, man. Get some groceries. That's it. Wow. I mean, I could have went to I could have went to a pilot. I could have went to a rest area. It was. I just told myself I need to get some groceries, you know, in the morning. So I said, let me just stay here. It's only four, four or five hours. I gotta wait. I'm saying, let me just stay here and get some groceries. And uh, that's what happened to me. Wow. All right, man. So now, now just put a a, a over two k dent in your pocket. Uh, and you and you had to pay that like right then and there, right? Right there. I had to pay that right there. Yep. He said, if you don't pay that right now, he said, we're going to take it to the yard and you're going to have to come in when we open up at eight in the morning and you're going to have to pay $6,000. Wow. I mean, you used to be able to get a whole mo a, mo a semi motor built for $6,000. <laughs> now they charge you $6,000 to tow you five miles down the road. <laughs> With that unfortunate dent in your pocket, you, you, you mentioned that you know your family situation is taking a hit. Uh, what's 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 going on with your family, sir? Well, you know, being on I'm a single father, so being on the road, you can't really just do things like that. I have my sister there helping with my son and whatnot, but um, basically he broke his toe. So going to therapy and you know how that could be setting appointments and doing all of that stuff and being a truck driver, we make money by, you know, the freight, the loads we haul. So I haven't been working like that because I'm all, I'm constantly going to orthopedics and, you know, dealing with that issue right there, you know, so they're taking a little strain out on me. How old's your son? My son is 15. How did the accident happen? He, it, what he was uh, playing sports or football? Yeah, football. He plays football. Sorry to hear that about your kid, man. Ho hopefully he get well soon. Uh, again, you you did reach out to Walmart. You expressed uh, you know the situation that's going on with your son, and it still went on deaf ears. Huh? They don't care. They don't care. Truck drivers. I'm gonna put it this way: You're better off being a a regular, uh, you know, just driving in a regular car and dealing with Walmart. Walmart, that's, that, that's crazy. I deliver to Walmart a lot because I do, I drive reefer. Walmart does not deal with truck drivers. They don't like you. Even when you go park there sometimes, the guy was telling me, the drivers for Walmart will tell you, like, get out of here. That's what he told me. The company drivers, they'll tell you, oh, you can't park here. They don't want you here. But I never knew that. I thought truck drivers stick together. We all together. Let me play devil's advocate. I agree with some of you guys out there. I think it's more of a money grab than anything else, you know. But right. do you do you think uh, do you think us drivers kind of made it an issue for Walmart not to let us park there no more with the with the trash the fluids all over the ground with us parking all over the places and stuff like that do you think walmart just said look we try to accommodate drivers but it looks like the drivers is just not accommodating to us so let's not let them park here anymore right i think that has a lot to uh, do with it because and, and, you know, with my experience out here, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm a, I'm a black man, so it's, it's, I, I'm not racist at all. But from what I see, a lot of these people come from different countries and whatnot. And I see them all the time at the truck stop, they get out, take a crap, or throw piss right on the floor, throw their trash on the floor. You know, they, they just, it's, it's disgusting. So I think Walmart probably said enough with that you know you can't walk down those and throw it in the trash or whatnot i think that has a lot to do with it but i don't understand why they would just stop letting drivers park there i mean it's a trucking company also you know i am so sorry that that happened to you man but my thing is this the the tow truck driver really was an asshole i mean he could at least 
gate, you know, knocked on your door and and said, "Hey, there wasn't, you know, there's no parking here." It, 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 it was it was three of them jumped out on me, and they was getting all rowdy, and you know, and, you know, I'm just waking up, and he was like, "Oh, I'm not racist or anything, but uh, it's usually like you know we." It's a, you know, Charlotte, it was a, that Walmart right there is in a bad neighborhood. So for the Russians that we have problems with, that's what that's the exact words came out of his mouth. I said, what you mean black drivers and Russians? Oh, them the ones that usually try to fight and this and that and this and that. You know, I'm like, and it's not going to end out. It, it, he said just like this, it's not going to end up good for you. And I said, what's not going to end up good for me? You know, they expect you to act out and go to jail and keep your equipment so they can sell it and stuff like that, you know. But that, that tow truck driver, he was an asshole. And, uh, you know, that tow bar that they put in the back of your trailer with the lights on it? Yeah. He left it on my trailer when I left. And it's wireless. And, uh, he, he called me. He said, hey, he said, hey, I left my tow bar on your, uh, my tow lights on your, uh, back of your trailer. I said, okay. He said, where are you right now? I said, and, um, I'm in Virginia right now on the way to, uh, deliver my, uh, load. He said, "Well, can you bring it back?" So I said, "I, <laughs> I said I'll bring it back." He said, "I'll compensate you." I said, "I thought to myself, you will compensate me. You just, you just, you know, just got off on me. You, you got, you got took advantage of me." So I looked up the tow bar. The the the, the tow bar is like seven hundred and eighty bucks. So I called them today the uh, after I met you, and I said, um. Well, how can I get compensated? What you gonna uh, give me for this? It's like, oh, I was just gonna meet up with you. I know you're going out your way to give you a hundred dollars. I said, no. How about this? I said, how about you give me four hundred dollars for it and you can have it back? He was like, oh, how about this? Next time I charge you six thousand dollars to drop your tail. I said, there won't be a next time, sir. Oh, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I would have told old boy. I, I would have told old boy right off the rip, like, yo, you you want to compensate me for bringing back your 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 stuff that you forgot on my truck. That, yeah, that I, I'll do that. Exactly. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, reimburse me my whole twenty six k, bro. How about that? Yeah. How about well, I that? I off the phone with him. I told him. I said. I said. I said. Take it as, as a loss. I said. Take it from that twenty six hundred dollars you got off on me. Exactly. By you going all the way down there, dropping off your load. And then you got to turn back around and come back up. Don't you know miles is money, bruh? Exactly. Miles is money. About time I come, about time I do all of this and come back up, it's going to cost me more. It's going to cost me more than that just to bring you your, your $400, $500 tail light that you forgot on, uh, on, on my truck. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. Why, Johnny Ringo, you look like somebody just walked over your grave. Yes, I just, I just listed it on, uh, I put a listing out for it. Let's see if somebody buys it so I can at least get something back, right? Yeah, facts. I would have did the same thing. You you did right, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll, yeah. I'll bring it back to you if you're going to compensate me my, uh, my 26K. How's that? That... That's predatory right yeah. there. What they got going on yeah. is real predatory. Yeah, because that wasn't that wasn't cool. I mean, they could have at least knocked nope. on the door to see if somebody now I can understand if you wasn't there. But right. it could have at least knocked on the door and been like, Oh, okay, well you here, you you're not allowed to park on the on the on on the Walmart property. Right, right. right. And I would have gladly moved because like I said, I've been going to Walmart forever. So I I mean you wouldn't think they would do, you know, and being a driver, they just in it for the money, man. That man told me he brings home $5,000. He works five days a week, overnight. He said they get calls here and there, but he said he makes $5,000 a week drive as a driver for a tow truck company. I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't put it past him. All right, Sam. So, what's... What's your takeaway from all of this, man? I mean, you you already mentioned a few times that you said you're not going to just, you're not going to deal with Walmart no more. Uh, I mean, is you're not going to deal with Walmart uh, to drive 
and try to park on Walmart or you just not going to deal with Walmart, period, as far as, you know, giving them money to buy your stuff? Period anymore. And that's just me. You know, a lot of people go through things with people or, you know, you see these customers or they have uh, incidences with designers and stuff like that. And then, you know, they get mad and two, two weeks later, they back wearing the same thing. They back shopping at the same place. You know, they just lost my business. I know it's not much, but, you know, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I go to Kroger's when I'm home. I go to Target, Publix, you know. Big G's got it locked. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around Want you to take it like a G, yeah